We continue in this part 5 of, of this uh, writing rules in Curator series. Uh, let's say that you want to uh, have a rule that is true when certain number of uh, events actually happen. Well, if you type the word time in here, you're going to be overwhelmed by the variety of things that you can actually do and there are many sophisticated constructions in there. In fact, if I put the word just times, uh, that gets reduced somehow, right? But let's say that I want to do it on a custom property that I extracted and its value is greater than something, right? So then we're going to use what we used before but in a different way. So if I type a word event matches, and it's not going to be AQL, it's not going to be within any rule, it's going to be just this one. And what we need to select here is a particular... Notice that this source and destination IP is not going to have greater than, because it, that doesn't make sense on a, on a source or destination IP. But if I select something like event count in here, which is a number, then I have the possibility of putting greater than, you know, the... 10,000 or whatever is the number that I want to actually add. Well, I need to click here add and then submit and then I'll have that uh, that condition added. Now another possibility is uh, you know that when a rule fires uh, you have the capability of adding a component a property of that rule into a reference set right or a reference map even if you want to uh, so you can have let's say I am collecting source IPs of bad guys and I put them in a reference set that's the rules being fired and then that reference set is used by another uh, rule to see whether a particular new IP is on that list how will we do that well if we put the word here reference set I should be able to find this right yeah and this will be for example the conditions that I will use with reference set and it can be more sophisticated with reference maps if I add this condition and we see our rule is getting more and more complex uh, you know so you put you select the custom property here as we have done before and then you select the reference set that you are pointing into here and the reference set doesn't have to be populated by a rule it can be by a stick and taxi uh, that that feeds that keeps that reference set populated it can be that you manually enter some values of for example executives uh, or you know whatever is the property that you are uh, uh, working with but that's another heavily used capability of curator of working with reference sets uh, and, and, and counting things. And another thing you may want to do is that I want uh, I wanted this rule to fire with this part of the company and not on that one. Well, uh, curator has a concept called domains in which is very useful particularly for acquisition, say a hospital buys another hospital and the, the, the 10 network or the 172 network is used on both. Well, I'm not going to change all those IPs. Well, what you do is that you define domain hospital number one, domain hospital number two, and then you can even have your rules. If I type the word here domain, you'll see that you have a rule, the, the capability of specifying uh, that, that condition. And one thing that I had mentioned before, but it's always worth keep on mentioning more on that on the expensive rules uh, uh, video that I plan to do as well is that uh, as you know the the test conditions are evaluated the minute and that's what curator is so great in performance so this is not searches this is real time when, when an event comes boom every every rules gets evaluated and the first condition gets evaluated first if this is a windows event log yes then continue if not i don't i don't need to evaluate this is an and type of condition i don't need to evaluate the the rest of the stuff so you, you tend to put the 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 more qualifying things right at the top to make sure that the machine 
saves performance and doesn't go and evaluate. For example, if you have a, an expensive AQL condition, you don't want that to be evaluated unless that thing applies to the other more general conditions that you have uh, uh, on the top.